The Humane Society of the U.S. and the Tennessee Walking Horse Industry each held press conferences Friday in Murfreesboro. Uh, number one, uh, celebration leaders are complaining about aggressive USDA enforcement of the law. Complaints we've heard year after year and complaints that come on the heels of their saying that they want to eradicate soaring within the industry. How is that consistent? And we've got the two leading veterinary groups in this space, the American Veterinary Medical Association and the American Association of Equine Practitioners, who've called for a ban on stacks and chains and the elimination of this industry self-policing program. We have an industry in denial, engaging in a cover-up and conspiracy in order to continue to soar horses for ribbons and profits. A lot of the people that they have in, the, in charge of running the industry and, and handling the checking of the horses is uh, pretty much just uh, corrupt how, and how corrupt it is. I know, I know in my case, you know, I went to prison for a year uh, for something that, that that everybody does. And if we're the only two bad apples, how how is the how how are they doing? How are they getting theirs to, to travel like that? In the video released earlier this week, Mr. Davis, you said that no horse can win the celebration without soaring. Is that the position of the Humane Society as well? We have heard from dozens if not hundreds of trainers over the years who have all told us the same thing. They've told us that you cannot create a winning big lick gate without soaring. And Mr. Davis's uh, testimony and his sentencing and what he said here today confirms that for us. It's completely false. Um, that's an outrageous claim. Uh, many independent veterinarians would tell you that is completely false. Um, this, those horses tonight will go through the most stringent inspection of any equine breed in the world before they compete. They'll also go through an inspection after they compete tonight. Um, it's just a, it's a completely false claim with no factual basis. I know um, all of you just came from uh, the Humane Society's uh, press conference and I'm sure uh, some very unflattering things were said about our industry. Uh, our industry is serious about reform. The Tennessee Walking uh, Show Horse Organization is serious about reform. Uh, reform is important because of these kids back here. Um, and we invited you here to come uh, today to see uh, the, the future of the walking horse industry. Uh, these kids up here, some are uh, very accomplished, uh, some are very new to it. My name is Jessica. I've been in walking horse. Um, I was, I've been riding since I was three years old. I'm seven. I'm in second grade. Hi, I'm Maggie Mae White. I'm 18 from South Lyon, Michigan, and I've been riding horses for eight years. This year at the celebration, they told me I couldn't go into my World Grand Championship class or my World Championship class. I've been riding since I was three and showing since I was five. My family hasn't missed a celebration since 1976. I've been showing um, this one horse for the past two years. I've been, you know, in and out of the government. Never had him turned down, but he's been turned down twice at celebration and just the celebration. Um, I got into horses with my dad. Um, he kind of grew up around it, and it's just kind of uh, been a good opportunity for me to um, have a relationship with my dad that a lot of girls don't have with their dad, and that's kind of what's been important to me with the walking horses. Um, it's just kind of shaped me into a better person because of it. I'm Allison Thorson. I'm 17 years old from here on Ohio. Uh, I got involved in horses about 10 years ago when I was 7 years old. Um, it all started riding at a trail ride at a resort and it happened to be a Tennessee walking horse. So from there I uh, started riding Tennessee walking horses. I'm a competitive person so I learned about competition and uh, from there I just got more and more involved in horses. I travel all across the country to show horses. From about March to November, I'm at a show. Like next weekend, I'll be in Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, all over, Tennessee walking horses. And uh, from that, I've learned great life skills. Uh, responsibility. Horses are athletes. you got to take care of them. The celebration is, is, uh, has the show HO. Uh, is their HO. It's the strictest, uh, most stringent HO in the industry. Uh, it is um, 
provided three years of serious reforms in the industry. Tennessee Walk and Show Horse Organization was uh, formed to continue those reforms and to push those reforms uh, through um, new ob objective science-based testing. Uh, reform in this industry, it, it is serious. Um, there are serious people doing serious things. The HIO, it's a celebration of the show HIO, has suspended over 150 uh, individuals for violations of the Horse Protection Act. That's more than any other HIO or the government itself has done. Um, we're, we're serious about it. There's not a cover-up. Um, we're very transparent. I invite anyone to come to the celebration tonight and see for yourself. A lot of groups take the opportunity to use the celebration as a forum for their message. Uh, reform in our industry is a 365 day a year uh, task. We're serious about it. It's not just at the celebration. Uh, when our horses compete, they go through the same inspection no matter where they are.